market. Here we talk about the derivative of multiplier under two sector economics. Two sector economics is when we have consumption and investment as a function of our Y. What do we mean by two sector economy is all about deriving the Y. What do we mean by the output in respect to consumption and also investment. Now we have a function of C to be equal to C subscript zero plus C small letter C Y. That simply means our consumption is a function of Y. You can say this one is our equation one. And another function of our income itself to be equal to C plus I, what is investment. Do this is a function for two sector economics. Now, this is we can call this our equation two. What we have to do is to substitute the value of C in equation one, which is the whole function here inside equation two. We substitute the value where we can have our y income to be equal to C substitute zero plus C y plus I. You can see right from here, we have tried to substitute equation one inside equation two. By normal analysis, we can see y and y here. We can do collection of lifetime where we have y, this c, y, coming to the other side, we have minus c, y is equal to c sub the zero plus i. By mere analysis, we can have a simple factorization for this side, where we have two y here, we can bring one outside. y divided by y, we have one minus here is C Y. When you say C Y divided by Y, we will left it towards C. We close the bracket. In normal application, simply means that we can expand that by saying one Y times one, we give us Y, and Y multiplied by C, we give us C Y. So is equal to C subscript zero plus I. So moving to the other side, we have Y bracket one minus C is equal to C subscript zero plus I, which is our investment. How do we derive it in a situation whereby we have to get our Y, which is multiplier, we divide both sides by one minus C. So divide both sides by one minus C, one minus C, and here is one minus C. So here we cancel this. One minus C we cancel this. So we now have our Y, the output, to be equal to C subscript zero plus I divided by one minus C. So from here, we can make a partial derivation. We can differentiate Y in respect of C, and we can differentiate Y in respect of I. For the first aspect, we differentiate Y in respect of C. We have, this is a partial der derivation, where we have differentiation of this, we have one divided by one minus C. Likewise, we can differentiate y in respect of i. That is differentiate y in respect of i. In the normal differentiation, you differentiate this i here. Here will be divided as zero. Nothing is there. Here and here will be one. That is one divided by one minus c. And by implication, we can call those them is our multiplier. What do we mean by multiplier? Represented by k p. Mathematically, that is all about derivation of multiplier. So, which is 1 over 1 minus C, or by implication, we can say 1 divided by 1 minus NPC, which is also known as 1 minus 1 minus NPC. That is our multiplier. So, that is how to derive it. In our next class, we are going to continue with the three sector economies, and by the time we finish, we're able to understand more better about the derivation in the economies. Thank you, viewers.